I'm going to go check out that new deer stand I hung in the edge of the field the other day. Can I go too? Well... Dad, I'm ready to be a deer hunter, and I know all about the safety rules. I know, but... Plus, you taught me to sit still, and I know what deer sign looks like. Can I please go? I'd like to take you, Carlos, but in this state, you have to be 12 years old, and you're only nine. But I promise, in three years, I will take you deer hunting with me. Okay. As strange as it sounds, it's illegal in this state for me to decide when my own son is ready to go hunting. I wish I could take him. I can't think of a better way for he and I to spend time together. And I want to pass along my love of hunting just like my father did with me. And there's no reason to prevent young people from experiencing all types of hunting. Research has shown us that the safest hunters of field are young people accompanied by an adult. And no one cares about that boy's safety more than I do. I'm afraid that by the time the government says he's old enough to go hunting, He'll be more interested in video games, soccer, or even girls. I hope that he still has an interest in hunting and wants to spend time with his dad. The sad part is, that's exactly what's happening all over this country. The number of hunters is declining, and only about 6% of Americans actually hunt. And by the year 2025, that number is going to be reduced to less than 4%. Nationally, for every 100 hunters that we lose, we're replacing them with only 69 new ones. And in some states, we're recruiting at a rate less than that. I'm really worried that our hunting heritage might be slipping away. With shrinking hunter numbers come dire consequences, not just for families that want to spend quality time together in the great outdoors, but for wildlife conservation and local rural economies that depend on hunter's dollars. Hunters and hunting are more important than you may realize. This country's hunters have paid billions of dollars in excise taxes since 1937, as well as hunting licenses and permits, money that funds state wildlife agency conservation programs. The bottom line, we'll lose touch with a way of life that has brought families together throughout our nation's history. Sure, there are several reasons that hunter numbers are declining. People are more urban and less connected to the land, and it's getting harder to find a place to hunt. There's another important reason, though. Many states prevent parents from introducing their sons and daughters to hunting. As a result, fewer young people are taking it up. That's pretty alarming when you consider that 80% of hunters learned at a young age. Studies show that those who take up hunting after 12 are far more likely to give it up. One way to recruit more dedicated hunters and conservationists is to focus on youth. That's why the National Shooting Sports Foundation, the National Wild Turkey Federation, and the U.S. Sportsman's Alliance came together to form Families of Field, to work with sportsmen, elected officials, and wildlife agency personnel to lift restrictions that prevent young people from hunting with an adult. They commissioned a study to help them better understand the problem. And this research clearly showed states with regulations that limited youth hunting were less able to attract new hunters. However, states that permit youth hunting at a parent's discretion did a far better job of recruiting new hunters. Even more can be accomplished when states permit people to learn about hunting first, firsthand from a mentor before completing a hunter education course. It results in better recruitment numbers and ultimately more hunter education graduates. And the good news is safety wasn't sacrificed one bit. In fact, states that allowed parents to decide when to introduce young people to hunting were 10% safer than states that didn't. After all, the safest hunters afield are young hunters with an adult mentor. We all know that young people grow and mature at different rates, and regulations that demand a young person to be a certain age before learning to hunt just don't make sense. And that's what the Families Afield program is all about letting parents who know best make that call. By working with key groups, we can enact legislation and regulations that will put families afield. I hope you'll join us in our mission for the future of hunting, for the future of conservation, and for the future of cool, crisp mornings in the turkey woods with an eager young hunter.